interesting historical, anthropological, and esoteric information about some of my favorite plants. And if you've not heard of this book before, um, if you're someone who's interested in herbal medicine or maybe um, a more spiritual perspective of holistic healing or esoteric practice, um, you might be interested in this book. So, Richard Allen Miller is an interesting person to research. Um, so he's a noted biochemist and physicist who has thoroughly researched the historical use, um, chemical structure, preparation for consumption, and magical rituals of herbs. In the magical and ritual use of herbs, he tells us how to use herbs to improve and tone, herbs for muscle relaxation and massage, herbs for initiation and spiritual growth, and the sacraments for astral protection. The author provides a highly sophisticated study of the 19 herbs that can assist with stimulating our energy, combat fatigue, assist healing, relieve tension, and if used properly, promote a feeling of well-being and self-awareness. Um, the book itself is from... section of chemistry and magic because 
seeds are um, poisonous, so consumption of this plant can be deadly, so just be mindful of that. Um, but I totally recommend growing her because she's, she's gorgeous. So, a coarse herb that is annual, this is the botanical description, um, a coarse herb that is annual and branches freely attaining the height of about three feet, and that's true, she gets pretty big, um, has a long, thick, and whitish root with many fibers, the stem is smooth with many branches, the leaves which are large and angular, four to six inches, with a coarsely toothed margin, grow singly along with one flower in the forks of the branching stems. The flowers are large, about three inches in length, and encased in a calyx. Uh, it's long and tubular and swollen, below ending in five very sharp teeth, and the teeth are like stopped filming for a moment because it started raining pretty intensely and I decided to keep going one because um, this is kind of a perfect window of time for me to film since um, there's a, a new tenant I, I posted about this on my indie tab um, in the shared house I live in there's a new temporary tenant who um, when they are here they have the TV right below mine. So it makes it very hard to film. And so they stepped out for a couple of hours and I was like, I am going to film right now. <laughs> and of course it starts raining. So I hope there is someone out there who enjoys the rain sounds. I know they might be a little intense because I'm on a third floor and right by a window. Um, but I do hope you enjoy them. And you know, being that we are talking about plants, but So I'm going to keep going. Um, so the thorn apple we were talking about is a sacrament used for astral projection. That's the little italicized description at the top here. And so um, the history is very interesting. The name Datura originated from early Arabian names such as Datura and Datura. Early Sanskrit writings refer to these um, constituents as Durstura and Unmada. The name Jimson Weed comes from Jamestown, Virginia, where a colonist found a jura growing near a pile of rubbish from the ships at dock. And there's a whole story that goes along with that too. In India, women known as mundane ladies would use knockout drops for intoxicating and robbing their clients. It is a powerful narcotic. Um, old Chinese herbal medicine texts state that if equal amounts of jimson weed and cannabis sativa are gathered in the seventh and eighth moon, dried in shade, pulverized and digested in wine, the preparation ingested would produce a narcotic anesthesia, making operations and cauterizations to be accomplished with little or no pain. Interesting. Algonquin Native Americans of Eastern North America would make a drink, why so can, containing jimson weed. So that's spelled W-Y-S-O-C-C-A-N. And basically, um, this was for initiating young boys into manhood, and so they would give them this, apparently they would give them this concoction, and they would basically lose their minds for 20 days, and then when they regained consciousness, they would basically start adulthood, forgetting that they were ever a child. Interesting. So, there is um, some information about the chemistry. 
passively deepen your awareness while contemplating the figure of your inner wisdom and healing. This figure is in contact with the ultimate meaning of life, and through dialogue with him or her or them, you may seek a new relationship to the truths of human existence. Formulate a clear picture in your mind of the face of your healer. It may appear as someone you know or have heard of, or a legendary or cosmic figure such as 